hoof bag here and uh, we are continuing with our Mission hoof possible. bags, electronics, um, what's it? Amplifier repairs. Anyway, it turns out that resistors in yeah, this device bird. have drifted around quite a lot. Bird talisman. Bird talisman amplifier. Yeah, not a Selma. It's a t bird talisman. And we've had to replace uh, the one meg resistor which supplies the HT to the um, to the anode of this valve um, because that was actually uh, high and of also um, changing this this resistor here because it tends to be it looks a bit iffy and I thought I'd just swap it anyway so there we are we just just unsoldered the back on end of it like this just give it a quick desoldering it's still a bit of a mystery at the moment no but it's it's on its way it's definitely going to be a working amplifier soon as we are just pop pop those through like that thing about these printed circuit boards you have to be very careful not overheat them because they actually come off the actual um, tracers come off the um, the, got a temperature control. That's right, not in this instance. This is an Antex or mod roll mm, plug mm. version of an Antex solder line. <clears throat> you can't afford proper temperature <laughs> controlled solder. Well, we, line. I do have a temperature controlled soldering iron, but I keep it for important purposes like yeah, really integrated is circuits. This is old, this is old school. It? You don't need a no. look at these resistors. No, you could probably do it with hammer and tongs, really. <laughs> Almost, but that is a half watt yeah. resistor, you yeah. see. Now, who would hear who, who would? How can the size of it, whereas that one's one watt, modern technology, mm. this is a half watt and it's bigger. So anyway, that comes out. Let's give it a bit of a persuasion. Pull in the tooth. Mm, don't think about that. I've got a friend who's had a tooth out recently. She's not very happy. Mm. Anyway, so we'll continue uh, when we've actually um, got it working. Okay. After a considerable amount of voltage incorrect and what have you, um, what we've discovered is um, 650 ohm resistor is open circuit. So, sorry, not 650 ohm, 560 ohm resistor. That one there. Anyway, uh, we didn't have a 560 ohm resistor, but what we did have is a 600 ohm resistor. That's the incorrect value, isn't it? Anyway, you, this diagram here. Uh, go back to this formula, 1 over R equals the one that we want, plus 1 over R1, 1 over R2. So if you were to um, do it as a circuit diagram, we've got a resistor there, which is 600 ohms. Now we need to reduce the value of this resistor, and in this particular instance we connect across it a using that formula, and works out at 8, 8K2, so that will be the cathode, cathode coming up there for example, heaters. So anyway, um, this is what we've worked out. If we turn this upside down, we've managed to squeeze. Mm. Why don't we get a 560 ohm resistor? Well, these resistors, high power ones, are getting very, very hard to locate anywhere on eBay. It's almost mm. impossible to get them. So you, we can put a parallel resistor of 8.2K. Well, actually, it's a long shot, but that's the, what, that's the uh, 600 ohm resistor cathode bias. Um, so anyway, in, in order to, with you, what it's, this is called a trim resistor, so bring the, the value down very slightly. Okay, now we've soldered that on, it's time to um, test, give a quick test. Mm, I'm sure the electrons didn't fall out. <laughs> the electrons didn't fall out, not in this instance. Mm. Alright, so um, we just need to make a connection. Put the res a screw in here because um, the bird engineers, the engineers working for bird talisman, decided to make it so that you they've, they've made a ground connection to the uh, capacitor there. So in order to make a ground connection to the printed circuit board, you have to have the screws in. Not a method I would choose myself. However, that's what we've done, so we go along with it. It's always best if you're making a connection to ground, 
ensure that there's a solder connection since it's so incredibly important. Right, okay, so um, pop the valves back in. This EL84. EF86. The EL84 does actually have a spring clip, but uh, it needs a some what they call plier maintenance. Anyway, we're all set to pray, hope for the best. Hope it all works. Whenever I um, do an electronic repair, I always pull the plug out between soldering. Don't just rely on the main switch, it's never enough. <laughs> there we go, wait for the warm up and see what happens. <laughs> Waiting for the valves to get nice and toasty. What should happen? Please. If that light over there should come on. Oh, what on the top? Oh, yeah. On the top, yes. Uh, yeah, lights on. No one's at home. Oh, so that, I would say, is a repair. <laughs> a lot better than it did I'm sure you'll agree mm. anyway thank you all you YouTube people for watching and I hope this video would be of benefit to anybody in the process of repairing a bird talisman sorry a bird talisman amplifier important thing to do whenever you do any servicing on a piece of equipment like this i.e. going at it with soldering line always Pull the plug out. And thank you.